welcome back guys this is question 2.55 and the statement of it is if each coded item in a catalog begins with three distinct letters followed by four distinct non-zero digits okay so after it what we have to do we have to find the probability of randomly selecting one of these coded items with the first letter a vowel and the last digit even okay so in these type of questions what will be the strategy so let me write here the solution so what can be the strategy here if i want to find out the probability of x okay so what do i have to find here i have to find the number of combinations of x or in x divided by the total number of combinations or permutations okay. so here in this question we can see that we have a uh, what we have to see that how many items do we have so if each coded item in a catalog begins with three distinct letters okay so uh, let me represent this one with the green color okay and this one with the blue color and let me begin it so here i can see that this is the first one so here we will have three distinct letters okay so these are basically the letters and these are what these are the four non-zero digits okay so when these are the three digits so how many items or how many possible letters will i have here so here i will have 26 letter if one has been occupied here i will have here 25 and here at this location i will have 20 okay. so these are for what these are for the letters similarly now for the non-zero digits i can see here that here when one has been removed which is the zeroth item so i will have here nine left okay similarly when one will occupy this space uh, so how many will be left so here eight will be left similarly zero is removed because zero will not be included here two of the them are also removed so seven are left and here we will have six okay so multiplying them i will have all these which can be multiplied together and this these would be the total combinations which i can have here okay so after it we have to find the number of combinations of x which is basically what the condition given here so find the probability of randomly selecting one of these coded items with the first letter a vowel okay we will have to have here a vowel okay here we will have a vowel and the last digit is e1 so we will have here the e1 number okay so let me use this one here so here this one okay again we will have here three letters and four digits here okay so let me first write the items here so how many uh, possible number of letters here so we can see that here we will have to select any of the vowel because it should be started with the vowel so i can have here a e i o u so i will have here five choices okay similarly when here one of the five choices has been occupied so how many will be left here he will here i will have 25 left because out of the 26 one letter has occupied this spot similarly when two uh, letters has occupied this space so 24 will be left here okay so these are for what these are for the letters similarly for the digits i uh, have previously told you guys that first of all you have to write the digit which has been given in the condition so i have to concentrate over this location because this is what we have to get the even digits okay so how many items would i have here so i can have here two four six and eight okay i cannot include zero here because that is not included here and i have to not use it here anywhere so here i will have four choices okay so one of the four choices when has been attained here so how many will be left so i will have here eight because one is the zero which has been removed and the second one is this one so i will have here 
8 ok similarly when 1 this spot is occupied this is occupied so 7 will be left here for this spot and similarly when 3 uh, has been occupied out of the 9 ok so 6 will be here ok so after 8 what I have to do I have to multiply them together ok so these are what these are the combination I have to use so here I can very easily see that these are the total number of combinations which are here and these are the choices which I have to make ok so I can see here that these are the ratios so I have to make what here I will have a ratio of this blue with what with this green ok so let me write them here so here the blue ones are what 5 into 25 into 24 and then 8 into 7 8 into 7 into 6 into 4 ok so these are the combinations we have here and similarly the green ones here are 26 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 9 8 7 and 6 ok so these are the numbers so let me use them here and cancel them out which are common so these would be cancelled out these would be cancelled out ok this one here this one here and this one here so let me write them the numbers what are the numbers so 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 divided by 26 multiplied by 9 okay. so here we have these numbers so uh, when these will be cancelled out I will get here 10 divided by 13 multiplied by 9 okay so these would be what these would be 10 divided by 1 1 7 so that is what that is the answer of my question which has asked me okay. so in this type of question what do you have to do you have to write the number of combinations according to the particular condition and the total number of combinations which are possible in the same scenario okay. so that is basically the type of the strategy which you can employ in any of the questions which are like these okay. So that's it for today. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. Thank you.